Hey, everybody. It's Mr. and Mrs. Omnidog here for our Christmas special where we are going to be highlighting and tasting these boxes of cereal. Can you guys hear me okay out there? Marcelo and day 37's hyped for the show. Awesome. Oh, James, always good to see you. Uh, loyal fan. Marcelo, loyal fan. We are having a beautiful weekend. 70 degrees outside. I don't know why I'm buying firewood tomorrow. <laughs> Uh, Andy says we sound great. Okay, so I'm Omnidog, and this is my wife. Hi, everybody. Um, you can't tell, but her head's blinking. It's sort of. It, I, just like all Christmas lights, they have died just when I wanted them to show. Can we see them better in there? A little bit? Yeah, a little bit. They're blinking a little bit. Okay. Okay, so you <laughs> know <enough>. she's blinking. <laughs> <clears throat> so here we are. I'm excited. Merry to, uh, Christmas, dude. Oh. What's up? No, I'm just excited to try these cereals. Are you? I think it's been since about the 1960s that I tasted any of these. 1960s? <laughs> well, My mother didn't allow them. <laughs> oh, okay. I had no problem getting. Well, there was no, I don't remember Christmas cereals growing up. No, definitely not. No. No. This is a new thing. Uh, now, I will say that the first thing that I ever started collecting was Christmas Crunch. And that is because it used to be Christmas Crunch uh, came in a different box every year, a different Christmas box every year. And then the people at Pepsi who own Quaker Oats, who own Christmas Crunch, gave me the same box five years in a row, and I was uninterested in that. Ooh, that's dumb marketing. Yeah, right? So this is a new box, finally. As you can see, it's Christmas. the theme is Christmas sweaters for Christmas Crunch. And on the back, the theme is more Christmas sweaters from the North Pole, where I guess Captain Crunch... Steve Sweaters, a North Pole shop. Just for the record, we do have ugly Christmas sweaters. <laughs> but today we are wearing our fun Christmas t-shirts. Jess, you, you can see Jess's and then... Right. <laughs> All right. Oh, here's Crazy Jane. How's it going? Fossil Croc. Bring on the Christmas crunch, which I was just showing. Ah, uh, here's Crash Line. Serial testing. Love it. Brilliant. Thank you, Crash Line. <laughs> we had just nothing better to do on a Saturday. Right. You've been decorating for 72 straight hours. You haven't <laughs> slept, so you I, needed a break. I love this. This is the good, this is going to be the sugar high that I need to finish doing the Christmas decorations. Um, what uh uh, now, you said something before in the green room, uh, how different we like our cereals. That's right. Yes, Jess is extremely particular with any cereal, but especially these that he holds so close to his heart. <laughs> and that is he's got to eat them crispy. So the milk is put on at the last second. Me, I like things a little bit, a little bit soggier. Well, you like more milk, too, than I do. Yes. I like a lot less milk. And I like a lot less milk. As a matter of fact, Patty saved my life one time because I like so little milk. I just like my cereal moistened. And I was having, how long ago was this? 20 years ago, I was having Special K fruit and yogurt flakes. And it was just moistened with milk. And one of the flakes was so dry, it got stuck in my throat. And I couldn't breathe. And I... I was, I took down some milk. Uh, I couldn't, I couldn't breathe. I started pounding on the counter and Patty and our daughter Kelly came rushing down and Patty gave me the Heimlich maneuver and saved my life. And every now and then I have to remind him of that, <laughs> that he better treat me right. 
because I saved his life. That's right. And there's your scary. Christmas story. It, it was, was scary. I was at the top of the stairs and I heard the first choke. And then I didn't hear good things after that. And I <laughs> came running down the stairs and I said, do you need me to do the Heimlich? And he pounded on the counter. Whoops, sorry. You're shaking the <laughs> Pounded on the counter and nodded his head. So I reached around and did what I thought was right. And it came out. It popped the flake out. And here I am today. Uh, so <laughs> soggy cereal is safe cereal. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we can learn from this. Here's Gary. Here's He's a lesson. loyal fan. What's up, Gary? Uh, if you like cereal, if you love cereal, hit the like button. Now, Crash Lane, wait, are you from uh, Canada? I've always been jelly of the American cereals. You know what jelly means? Jealous. Oh, very good. Way up north, yeah, you are from Canada. We don't get the cool stuff. Never seen Cookie Crisp in my life, but always saw the ads. Uh, oh, poor deprived fellow. As a UK viewer, I've not tasted any of these four. People do import American cereal here, so I made a box of whatever you recommend to eat at Christmas. Um, and we've already given you our Christmas story of Patty saving my life <laughs> and how I went on to become Omni Dog. Oh, Hayden, another fan. The true star of the show has arrived. He means <laughs> Thank you. you, sir. I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying there's a chance of death on this stream? <laughs> Maybe. Uh, she's good at the Heineken menu. I mean, the Heimlich. <laughs> That's what I used to be good at 14 years ago. Uh, the Heimlich maneuver. So she'll save me. Crash line says, holy crap, that is a nightmare scenario. Good on you, Patty. Glad you survived, Jess. Thank you. Just goes to show the things we love can kill us and also save us. <laughs> Here's Tolga. He is from, oh my gosh, Tolga, where are you from? Uh, gosh, uh, Tolga is from Finland. Um, am I right? Finland? No. Uh, Norway? Uh, I'm so sorry, Tolga. He's a good guy. He sent me stuff before. Aww. I apologize. Here's Kalel. It's a different kind of unboxing chill. <laughs> Netherlands. Okay, I apologize, Tolga. Yeah, you and I, Koo, are both from the Netherlands, right? Johnny, one thing I would like to do in the States around Christmas time is try different different types of eggnog Ooh. and different Christmas-themed cereal. Envy you both, bo uh, both, and Patty, thanks. You're welcome. I like the eggnog. That is a good idea. I can't have mine with bourbon anymore, but I can try. And are you a rum or bourbon person? Johnny, I, I think Johnny's from Finland, so he, I don't know what he likes in his eggnog. Maybe Akavit or something? I don't know. That could be another taste test. Akavit? No. I can't drink that. <laughs> eggnog. Oh. Kelly and I could do that. Uh, yeah, you, you, <laughs> you sure could. Oh, wait, here's Gary. What a nice guy. Thank you, Patty, for saving my favorite YouTuber. <laughs> You're welcome. Isn't Gary so nice? Isn't he? At least I'm in Finland presently. Oh, black spiced rum in the eggnog. That's that's good. I uh, like that. Okay, yeah, but I we can't go okay. there, sweetie. We need okay. to change the subject. All right, it's back not, to cereal. Yeah, it's not good for me. Let's eat. <laughs> okay. Uh, has the, this is a good question. Has there ever been a cereal box style variant cover for a comic? Surely there has cereal box style variant cover for a comic. Yeah, uh, I have some that they've done. Um, there's like Harley O's and I've, I've got some cereal box uh, variants. Currently, they've been cut. They've come out in the past two years. Oh, yeah, there's there was a Cheerios one. There's Mr. J's. Cheerios. But it what it's not comic book themed. Oh. But they came up with their own anniversary one this year. Oh, he means a comic I book know. that I'm has sure. a cereal on it. I'm yeah, sure. there's yeah. Mr. J's. There's one for um uh there's one for uh Harley Quinn. I think there's poison IVOs or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Beto. Low key charms. Beto's a good guy. He is um actually he's a great guy. He helped with uh, the Matt uh, donation thing, my friend oh, from Stockton. Yeah. 
and Beto got me a, a special target um, variant uh, action that he, figure that, you that couldn't I couldn't get. Okay. And Beto found it from Walmart and he's sending it to me. Good guy. And he's awesome. You'll have to show it to me when it comes in. All right. And I'll say, this is from Beto. I met Beto in Texas when I went to oh, visit nice. Riley. Yeah, we hung out. Um, do you want to, okay, Mr. T, my favorite cereal growing up was Mr. T cereal. I pity the fool that did not make that a part of his complete breakfast. I never even knew it existed. Yeah, I can still picture it. Um, do you want to start out with one of these? I, first of all, I know this one's going to be my favorite. Sugar cookie toast crunch. I already know that's going to be my favorite, <laughs> so I'm going to save is. that. I'm going to save that for uh, last. I love the box, the backs of these boxes too. You okay. We sure can, we can show them. these. I'm afraid I don't do alcohol. Never got into it. Growing up saw it result in some not nice things. And those I care about, I'm all for the O dog staying <laughs> sober. I'm the O dog. O dog. O dog. I'm in favor too. Proud Thank you, Johnny. Let's try. Want to try elf on the shelf first? Yeah. Elf on the shelf. I wonder how many people out there have done elf on the shelf things with their kids. Oh, yeah, the back. Show Here's the back. back, yeah, which is like a cartoon comic. There. And? Your cousin Melanie. Yes. <laughs> gets the, no, niece Melanie. Niece, yeah. Gets the prize for the most creative elf on the shelf things for her kids who are now teenagers, teenagers <laughs> and barely tolerating it, but it's her creative outlet. Uh, yeah, and Ryan. Thank her, you, her... Rose Gray. There's Rose Gray. Nice. The actual elf on the Telf show is freaked me out. <laughs> Not sure about the art style. Oh, here's Max. Max is way talented uh, jazz guitarist. He's from Sweden. Oh, wow. So here we're going to pour ourselves a little bit of elf on the shelf. We each have our bowls and milk. And let me do a little um, promo for our... Oh, now I'm forgetting what they're called. They're, they're drinking... They're called, it says, eat, drink, be happy, sip and spoon. So these are spoons that have holes at the end. Whoops, I gave you too much. And they are a straw as well as a spoon. So you get to drink the milk. This has... Wait, let me show... On camera, what it I'll looks like. I'll start pouring. Okay. This is what it looks like. And there's little marshmallows in there. Star-shaped marshmallows. And boy, do they smell good. I mean, star-shaped cereal and little mini marshmallows. Give it back. I'm ready to eat. Okay. And now I am doing Jess's last-minute milk. Wait, wait. I want... Yeah, I'd like a little more. We have a lot of cereal to eat. I don't have any marshmallows in there. Oh, honey, I'll give you some of mine. Okay. There. All right, thank There's you. So here we are. We're trying okay. Elf on the Shelf. Do we do it like we smell it? Sure. Sugar. <laughs> I smell lots of sugar. Okay, and here, it, it, I'm not going to put it on your laptop. Never mind. <laughs> thank you. Oh, yeah. You like it? Too much. It's good. It's crunchy. It's sweet, but it's not too sweet. Yeah. Does it taste a little mapley? Maybe. What's that taste? It is pretty good. Hmm. Hattie's cereal doesn't light up, but her um. <laughs> yep, everybody. I married that lady. Happy. He already married me. Oh, here's Elan. How are you doing, Elan? Good to see you. Oh, I like the straw feature. You'll like it too because the milk is so sugary. You gave us too much. I know. If I eat this much, I'm going to probably consume 3,000 calories sitting here in 20 Sweetie, minutes. You can't worry about that. Oh. We're there's a content for YouTube. Mm, 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 mm. 
I wish, it, James. I wish we could share all these. <clears throat> light up every time she's next to Jess. Johnny, her headpiece does light up. I turned the lights off to show it. It's a closer. To the <coughs> Uh -oh. Uh oh, closer to the beginning of the show. <laughs> they and they lit up really well this morning, but then as Christmas lights tend to do, they died just when I wanted them to light up. Mmm. Okay, I'm done with this. Yeah, we need a spittoon for the cereal we're not finished with. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have anything around here. Waste basket? It's full. <laughs> like everything else in this basement. Shut up. <laughs> okay. So. All right, you do the talking. I'll finish there the is cereal. Elf on the shelf. I like it. I like it. Are we giving it a, doing a star system? Yeah. Uh, Gary, we're using almond milk. If you can, can you have almond milk or you can't have any milk of any kind? This is Christmas Crunch here. I didn't know the elf went back that far. The 70s? I thought the elf came out in the 90s. Wow. Good for you, Rose Gray. Okay, wow. I'm going to go there because. You're going to go where? Right here, this question. Oh. <laughs> what? So what's from Tiago de Sousa? De Sousa. So what's Mrs. Omnidog's real thoughts on Omnidog's <laughs> statue collection? How'd that spoon work? Pretty well? Yeah. The spoon straw? Yeah. It's oh, awesome. Yeah, it's cool. Mm, it's we've good. We've had these in the house for probably 20 years, and I this may be the second time we've used them. <laughs> anyway, Jess's statue collection. Well, first of all, I'm not the least bit threatened by the buxom broads. <laughs> Much more secure than that. I enjoy watching his friends take them all in when they see them for the first time. Yeah, I've gotten... Uh numb to it. I don't even notice how uh, statuesque they are. Is that a good word for it? Yeah, it's pretty perfect. One of our friends came in and looked at my collection and just said, look at all the boobs. I'm like, <laughs> what do you mean, man? Oh, yeah, I guess you're right. I'm sort of desensitized to it. Anyway, um, and wait, are all those considered statues? Yeah, or those? Okay. those are statues. Yes, so it's more the volume <laughs> that blows my mind than what they are. Whoops. I forgot to <laughs> mute your phone. Mute my phone. So anyway, I you know what? I actually appreciate them for the artistry. I think they're they're pretty amazing quality. So yeah. I don't think we have <laughs> I don't think we have room for one more. No, I I hundred percent agree <laughs> with you. Oh, that's a persistent friend. That was Graham. Yeah. Okay. What's next? Are we still? Okay, good. My, my screen's not showing anything. Um, I remember King Vitamin. Your mom hated it. I remember King Vitamin liking it a lot. What is or was King Vitamin? It was a cereal with like a king guy on it. Huh. Never heard Why of it. Why are we not seeing... I guess because of uh -oh. the... Oh! Lost it. Lost it. Okay. I'm going to have to figure it out. Okay, while he's doing that, I'm going to show you... This is off the topic of Christmas cereals, but it is a cereal, and it's clever, and it has a particular meaning to us. You see what this cereal is? PB&J. Where did you find this? You found oh, it. Oh, I found it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. As soon as I said that, I remembered. Anyway, I can't remember where I found it. But um, so I'm Patty Bragg, as you know, and that's Jess Bragg. So maybe, I don't know, five years ago or so, 
I started thinking of us as PB and J, Patty Bragg and Jess. And it is actually my license plate. And so when I found this cereal, I thought it was pretty cool. So maybe if we have time, we'll taste that. And then the other thing, uh, I don't know if any of you know, can I do a promo for Life is Good? Sure. Life is Good t-shirt company. Love them. Love their quality. Pretty darned affordable for the quality, especially. And they have all optimistic, awesome sayings on them. And one of them that I found said, PB&J, keep it simple. And so one day, um, maybe Jess will wear it on his show. Are you almost ready? Uh, I'm trying to fix the camera here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead. Shall I pour cereal for us? Yeah. Okay. We already did Elf on the Shelf. So yeah, we'll here, why don't we here. do Christmas Crunch? Okay. And you talk. Oh, boy. I don't know what I'm saying. Christmas Crunch. This is, a, um, this is an homage to everybody out there who has ugly Christmas sweaters. Love this guy. Can't wait to taste it. And then on the back, the goal is to find three matching pairs of sweaters and then to find two sweaters that do not belong. So it's a very interactive. Oh, good. Well done, Jess. An interactive back. And it says sea of sweaters. I'd like to know how many people have more than two okay now it Christmas sounds sweaters. like you're talking to your old people at the at sunset <laughs> sunrise i am curious i'm always curious about how much <laughs> first of all here we here we have out. near mint pract practically good condition patty you are always you are always to see on this channel i only watch on this channel um near mint condition is not good at typing um <laughs> You're always to see on this channel. That's You're nice of nice you. You're always nice to see on this channel. Maybe? When Patty comes on. Okay, keep trying near mint condition. You're almost there. <laughs> it's a nice it's nice of you to try. I understand nice. what you're going through. That's Omar. Oh, that's Omar? Yeah. <laughs> oh, if I'd known that. <laughs> this is fun, says Max. Patty, what of all the things Jess collects do you like the least? Oh. Mm. Do I have milk on mine or not, not yet? yet. Okay. No, I know to do yours at the last second. What do I like the least? Yeah. Well, it used to be Harley Quinn stuff, like <laughs> all of it. I don't know why did I not like her. You said she was a ski. She skeeved you out. She skeeved me out. Yeah, she yeah. was a little skeevy. Um. Oh, I'm gonna have to put that thought in my mind and look around. Sorry, not an instant answer, which is always good because that doesn't mean that. The, I mean, that means that there's nothing horrid in this house that you know about <laughs> okay so captain crunch time can we see can we keep peggy as a regular star in the show <laughs> i don't know about peggy but patty can stay <laughs> oh hayden corrected himself too late <laughs> from uh, from elon make... elon is from wales has mrs omnidog read anything from your collection if so what's her favorite graphic novel explain yourself to these people you know, I I love the comic book world. I love my husband's passion. I love that all you love it. My brain doesn't work that way. When I look at comics, I didn't grow up reading them. And I've tried graphic novels and my brain just doesn't process it the same way. I don't know. Do you feel like, I mean, there are people who really like it and people who it's not, it's just not for them. I Yeah, I think your brain doesn't process comics the way my brain doesn't process manga, which are the Japanese comics that are read backwards. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I, it's not a diss on the, on the industry or anybody's passions. It's just not the way I can do it, can read. And I've good tried. Question, I've though. given her really, uh -huh. really good stuff to try. Like Tea Party Society and stuff, but it just hasn't. Oh, it's just not her thing. Oh, Captain Crunch is sweet. Holy cow! What do you think? Uh, just tastes like Captain Crunch. Well, and I, I just really haven't been a sweet cereal person, but yeah, that is. I'm gonna say it's almost twice as sweet as the Elf on the Shelf. 
off my shelves. I, I don't recognize you. Thank you for joining. I think you guys have cornered the market here. Christmas cereal tasting. Love it. I'm tasting wine. I'm in a different time zone. Don't judge me. Hey, it's hey. five o'clock somewhere. Yeah, it's all good with me. Have fun. Mm. Mm -hmm. Wait, what's a cute couple name? Oh, PB and J. Oh, PB and J. Yeah, that's us. Mm. Near Mint Condition says, Jess is the celeb. Everything I know about comics comes from his head. Every one of Omar's videos has been stolen from me. So I appreciate your saying that, Omar. <laughs> That's an in-joke. Okay. Yeah. I think this may be my only Captain Crunch of the season, but keep those elf on the shelf handy. Okay. So, wait, did we highlight mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Captain Crunch? Mm -hmm. Okay. Christmas Crunch. Just the IT dog. That's right. I'm the go one to go to for the IT stuff. Yeah. <laughs> That's a joke. I've always oh. wanted to try another, any of those Captain Crunch cereals. They don't sell them here. Hayden's from Scotland. Mm. That isn't fair. Near mint condition from Andy. What's cool about his streams, that's me, is you can talk in the chat. <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, oh, I'll tell you afterwards. Okay. Omar's a whole other thing. Um, Big J today. Yeah, these two are too cute. Sweeter than the cereal. What? Oh. That's so sweet. Thank you. I is. <laughs> Is Chris original recipe out there? If you are, speak up. He left the nicest comment on my holiday gift guide thing. Okay, so I was just about to pick up my bowl and do what I've always done, but these spoons oh. are pretty cool with the straw. And they make the perfect sound. <laughs> this is Max's. This is the most wholesome stream I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> So far, <clears throat> I like Elf on a Shelf better than Christmas Crunch. We should have Darth standing behind us. Well, you should have thought of that before the show. Yeah. Oh, I'll show you. What we've got right here is my backup cereal. In case I didn't love anything that we're showing, this is a container filled with Raisin Bran, which is my go-to. <laughs> But that looks downright healthy compared to what we're eating right now. <laughs> Jess is so mean. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're doing just fine, near mint condition. <laughs> He's just so excited to see Patty. He can't type. Oh, no, I don't still dislike Harley Quinn. You're okay with her? Yeah, I think I've grown accustomed to her face. <laughs> and what's that from? My Fair Lady. Accustomed. Okay, that's it. Very good. Uh, now they're ganging up on near mint conditions. Near mint condition, close to mint condition. That's awesome that you tried comics, realizing they're not for you, but still respect it, Patty. Thank you, oops, Big oops, oops. J. That's Big J today. Oh. He also My thinks pleasure. we're wholesome or sweet. I can't remember. He seems to like <laughs> us, which is nice of him. Thank you. So on the back of the uh, cereal box of the Elf on the Shelf, it, there's all a big poem. It says, they eat fine desserts like cookies and cakes, but the best treat of all is the one Mrs. Claus makes. She uses a gadget, unique in design, to create elf-sized cereal that's simply... Divine? You got it. Wow. Jaime Galvan watching the with the wife and she could not resist. She headed to the kitchen for cereal. <laughs> <laughs> Bottoms up. I am Cheers. with you, Jess. Light Cheers. on the milk is best. Thank you, Jaime. Yeah, all right. Wait, I have to finish my Captain Crunch milk. There. I wanted to make sure you slurped like me. <laughs> okay, so we have tried Christmas Crunch and Elf on the Shelf. Okay, and what's your favorite so far? Elf on the Shelf. Me too. Really? You're a Cap'n Crunch lover all these years. Um, it I, is wicked sweet. I agree. It's it too has sweet. a little bit more of an artificial taste to it, too. 
Like if, like it's styrofoam with sugar in it. This is a good question for you. What is my favorite novel? Patty, because you're not a fan of graphic novels, what is your favorite novel? You're reading something right now you really like. Do you like historical nonfiction? I love historical um, historical non fiction. Yeah. I'm reading a lot these days about female spies during World War II. I'm trying to come up with the names right at the moment. And I'm a woman of no importance is what you're reading right now. Yes, a woman of no importance. She practically changed the course of World War II on her own because of her spy. Um, capabilities. capabilities and um, spy chains of people that she developed. It, it's fascinating. So yes, historical fiction and not nonfiction. Thank good, you. Good question. Ah, here is an excellent question. Which do you like better, fruity or cocoa pebbles? I love both. I um, not only do I collect. Christmas Crunch boxes and Captain Crunch boxes, but I used to collect Cocoa and Fruity Pebbles boxes. I remember when we were first married, Saturday mornings, we would eat Fruity Pebbles in bed and watch Winnie the Pooh on Saturday mornings. Yes, and then after Winnie the Pooh... What came next? <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Pee-wee! Pee-wee Herman! <laughs> We would watch, those are good days. They were. Fruity Pebbles and Pee Wee Herman and Winnie the Pooh. Saturday, Saturday mornings. mornings. That's when we were first married. Uh, the answer is, I think, Fruity Pebbles. And I don't have an opinion because I don't, I don't remember how long it's been since I've eaten them. Tell the story of how you guys met. Can we hear about how you two got together? Uh, In a nutshell. It was pre-match. Dot com. Uh, I tell it better than you do. All right, go ahead. We met at a party and we were introduced by a mutual friend. She knew me and she also, our mutual friend, she also knew Patty. Uh, I walked into the party. The friend, Patty got to the party before I did. And our friend Lydia asked her a bunch of questions about her current status. And it turned out Patty was single. She had just broken up with a boyfriend uh, and I was, um, single at the time. So Lydia came up to me as soon as I walked into the party and said, I've got a girl, you've got to meet, you've got to meet, you've got to meet. And I said, whoa, 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 whoa there, sweetheart. I got to get a drink first before I meet anybody. I didn't even get a chance to meet to get a drink before I met Patty. And we started to talk and I was pulled away by a bunch of guys who were telling jokes I went to get a drink after that, and then I returned to Patty, and I said, I'm sorry I was pulled away. Um, what else? I don't know. How are you? My name's Jess. Uh, it's nice to meet you. It's nice Lydia introduced us. And I fell in love at first sight. Patty did not. <laughs> well, it wasn't that I didn't. It just took me a little longer. It took you a few weeks. <laughs> well, yes. And on our, on our second date, he asked me if I believed in love at first sight. Yeah. And being fresh out of a four-year relationship, I almost showed him the door. He freaked me out <laughs> so much. <laughs> I couldn't help it. I it was just, you were so nice and I didn't want to hurt your feelings if I just ended up being a flake for a while because of that relationship. Because you wanted to be footloose and fancy free yeah, for the summer. I to, uh, yeah, I wanted to have fun all summer. Yeah. Alone. Alone, yeah. You wanted to be <laughs> single all summer. I did. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> anyway, and so uh, on the third date, we kissed. Oh, <laughs> how much are you going into? That's where I'll stop. That, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> I think, did I kiss you before the baseball game or after? I think I waited till we got home. We went to an Orioles game <laughs> and then we kissed. And that's as far as it went. On the, on on the day. third day, yeah. <laughs> okay. like, Obviously, ever. we're married now and we have a kid, so it's gone further than that at some point, but yeah. <clears throat> Jess, I know I mentioned it before, but I love your malt, short, malt shop sort of setup you've got going on down there. Just awesome. Chef's kiss. I'm comfy just looking at it. Oh, that's good. Yes. 
over there. Well, it looks like trash now because we're setting up for Christmas to, still. But there's the soda fountain bar over there, and we're sitting in the diner booth. That's nice of you, Crash Line. You're a good person. You're a really good person. Okay, what's next? Uh, we had the diner booth made for us. Uh, when we went out looking for um, stuff for the basement, we found the soda fountain bar as is. That was a real soda fountain bar with a working Coke machine, um, Coke cold dispenser rather. And we had the benches and table made special. Uh, and right after that, we got the pin or maybe before that, we got the pinball machine and jukebox. And then we found furniture that was 50s style like that. Crash lane's just full of questions. Also for Patty. Does he like the music selection on your jukebox? What's her favorite tune on there? We have a, a mutual, we have a bunch of songs that we each put on there. But then we also have a bunch of originals because when we bought it, it was fully loaded with 45s and smoke from the bar that it had sat in. <laughs> and um, there's a lot of country on there that we never would have put on, but there is country in there. There's still country on there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it just never yeah. gets played. Yeah. There's uh... Achy, breaky heart. <laughs> <laughs> um, we put in a lot of my 45s from my uh, collection. And there's a selection of Christmas 45s. Oh yeah. Uh, there's Bruce Spring there's yeah, there's Bruce Springsteen music on there. Uh, Brian Adams, a lot of 90s music and some 70s um, like soul music, like yeah. Don't Rock the Motown. Boat and stuff like that. So ready to go? Yeah, okay. My director tells me it's ready to go. <laughs> oh, here's Joe Goose. What's up, Joe? He's a great artist. He drew that right oh, there. Oh, hey. Very fun. Okay, so Elf is next. <laughs> Wait. Oh, elf. we did Elf we on did the elf shelf. We did Elf on the shelf. And now, and now we're now doing Elf. Elf the movie. Like your shirt. Like my shirt. If shirt guy's out there, I'm willingly showing you my shirt. OMG, Santa. I know him. Yeah. So that's this cereal. Whoop. Yeah, this is the back. And this is the front. You'll notice Will Ferrell's face isn't on there. So I imagine he's not. Well, I don't know. I think he owns Elf. So he's probably getting credit for everything. Oh, I'm sorry, Max. I didn't know you were from the Netherlands. Mandatory flipped question. Patty, what out of all the things Jess collects is your favorite? Also, Jess, I'm from the Netherlands, not Sweden. <laughs> apologies, dude. My apologies. Um. Ooh, this has lots of marshmallows. Oh my gosh, he collects so much stuff. What's my? What's your favorite thing? You know, I always loved his his um lunchbox collection. I thought that was a really fun thing. Hmm, that's a good one. Okay, this is what this looks like. It's got lots of marshmallows in it. The beige colored stuff of the cereal is the cereal, and then the colored stuff in it uh, is the marshmallows. And this Let's is start a marshmallow first. What? Okay. Tastes pretty much like a marshmallow, and that there's this is like elf no cereal. flavor. No. Mm -hmm. Maybe it'll be good with other stuff on it. Mmm. That's a good sign. You said yeah. mm first. I like that. That's much more neutral, um, not overly sugary tasting. Oh, this is good. Yeah. Yeah. This is good. Elf is good. It's sort of honey. Honey maple? Mm -hmm. I feel like Elf and Elf on the Shelf both have a little hint of maple. Mm. Oh, well, he drank like a whole quart of maple syrup or something in the movie, didn't he? I don't remember, but that would make yeah. a lot of sense. He put it on his spaghetti. I still think, though, I, my favorite is Elf on the Shelf so far. But this would... How many have we done? Three? Yeah, this is our third. Okay. Mm, this, this is good. Yeah, this would be a definite number two. Elon says Lydia is the real MVP. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah. We are still friends with her. And we give her credit every time we talk and see her. Marcella is going to check out a woman of no importance. Oh, a patty it's good. commendation instead of a it's really good. Good. <laughs> Rose Gray. Um, yeah, I'm going to be making room for thing other things, so I'm probably going to lighten up on my entire cereal box collection. Yeah, you're right. Do you have one huge Tupperware? I mean, not Tupperware. Um, I have several, three things, oh, three okay. of them of those three cereal of boxes. Yeah. All right. Ha ha ha! Or do you realize, do you realize Jess collected like he's stocking up a nuclear war? That oh, is so spot on. <laughs> um, you know, he definitely. It came on later. It did, for sure. And um, this basement was all done in the '50s style, and that's all it was ever going to be. And I had a little office down here. And when I stopped needing that office, I, I thought I was coming up with a fabulous idea. I said, why don't you take over the office and make it your little comic book room? And he did. And it was fantastic. And we set the whole thing up perfectly. And then it started to creep. And it crept. And it crept. And it crept. And now it's a comic book basement with 50s furniture. <laughs> <laughs> so I would say maybe 20 years ago, it started really blossoming. Yeah, I think. I think, when... I think maybe you were a, co a closet collector at first. I'll tell you when it really started was when I had the TV show on cable access and I had all those collectors on in mm -hmm. the early 90s. Mm -hmm. That's when I started collecting cereal boxes, cigarette lighters, radios, old radios from the 40s, um, uh, fizzy lunch, water, uh, uh, seltzer, seltzer bottle sprayers, uh, uh, cereal boxes. Yeah, that's when it really started, I think. Lighters. I, yeah. Just have you ever did? Have you ever done Elf on the Shelf with your figures? I can see it now. Harley Quinn versus Elf on the Shelf. <laughs> I do have a Harley Quinn Christmas figure that I'm going to get break out before the tree goes up because it always blocks her. And she goes on the mantle and then Elf on the Shelf goes on the mantle. And as a matter of fact, on my Twitter, the but I used to do in 2015, before I abandoned Twitter, I did have elf on the shelf versus harley quinn and she beat the hell out of him <laughs> yeah, so i, I may need to recreate to you that. just said are you putting harley on our mantle it's just a small one where she's doing the little ornament hanging she's very cute you've approved of it before okay it's okay sweetie really <laughs> um i liked elf on the shelf as well as i'm sorry elf almost as much as i liked Elf on the Shelf. So we may have to have a taste off between those two. But here we are with the fourth contender. Sugar Cookie Toast Crunch. And here's Trigonosis. Can we pour root beer over the Mariah Carey Christmas oh. 45? <laughs> Trigonosis is a great guy. Um, I don't know that we... Do we have that... I don't know that we have that Christmas 45. We have the Chipmunks Christmas song, but not that. There's Cycle yeah, Cleveland. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Uh, who was it who liked this, who was going to buy the book that I recommended? Uh, that was Marcello, I think. Let me look. Whoever it was. Patty. First Patty commendation. I will check out A Woman of No Importance. It sounds quite interesting. He's the from other, the Mexico. Other, the other one I've read recently that's fantastic is The Flight Girls. And what's it about? It is about women pilots, uh, women who trained as pilots for World War II. They, were, they did not go over and fight. They were here in the States. They test flew planes that would come back to the States, need repairs, and then they'd fly them oh, to test them. Wow. And then they would fly them between bases. I don't um, think you told me about oh, that, that one. That sounds fantastic. pretty interesting. It was great. 
Oh. A lot of good history in that one. Okay, so Marcel, there's another one and, for you. And that was particularly right after the bombing of Pearl Harbor. Oh. Okay. Uh, no, in the Elf cereal, it was a little sweeter than Kix. But good call on Kix. Uh, okay, they're talking amongst the themselves. Here's Elon again. What's she's from Wales? What's your favorite Christmas single? So it's Christmas song and film. Okay, film has to be a Christmas, Christmas story. story for sure. And Christmas single. I hate to say it, but I kind of like that Maria, Mariah Carey song. <laughs> that is so funny because I was having a quick debate in my mind about whether I would admit that. I kind of like it. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I do. Bobbin. Yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm so grateful. <laughs> you said that. I was going to have to search for a, a favorite. No, second. It's not my favorite, but it's, it's, uh, I, I, I don't turn it off when it comes on. I kind of dig it. Um, I don't know. What's your favorite? Is your favorite Christmas single uh, what Santa sings up there? Uh, Jingle Bell Rock? That's, that, that's my favorite Christmas song of all time. Jingle Bell Rock. I want to go get that Santa and play that. Do song. not do that okay. now. We're taste testing cereal. Okay. What's next? Last one. Sugar cookie toast crunch. And here's the back. Wow. Okay. So, hmm. oh, this is going to be my favorite. No question. This will be my favorite. I love cinnamon toast crunch. If this tastes like sugar cookies, I am going to eat this whole box here today, right okay, in front of you. Oh, no. You're going to want more of this. If this, is, if this isn't the best, I'm going to be really surprised. Oh, I can already tell it is. <laughs> I just snuck one. Oh, you did? Okay. Okay, so this is sugar cookie toast crunch. Oh, it tastes like sugar cookies. Uh, this is a good question. Cycle Cleveland says, we need a frame of reference. What popular cereal is a one and what is a ten? I need more milk, please. Popular what popular cereal is a one? one. So what's what, what's a popular cereal that you don't like and what's one that you really, really do like? Popular it, cereals. Well, Raisin Bran's your favorite, absolutely. so that's a ten. Yeah. So what's... A, well, or is that a one? I think it's ten. Okay, so the very best one for me is Raisin Bran, and I'm going to say one of these, uh, the Christmas Crunch. Is a one? Yeah. You didn't dig it. No. Now, this is something that has to be eaten fast. It gets soggy oh, quick. Oh, I was going to say why. Because it got soggy so fast. Um. Uh-huh. Yeah, that tastes like sugar cookies. Yeah. With a little hint of cinnamon. Mm-hmm. Wow. It already has, dude. <laughs> We're gonna run around in the rain outside. Um Max, in my library, you can find uh three or four of them that uh it's called Collector's Showcase. It's always on Throwback Thursday. And I'm, I just need to be reminded because people have been asking me, mostly Patty, who was nice enough to digitize the whole thing because this was back in the 90s. It was only on VHS. So if you check my library for Collector Showcase, you can see at least four of the old shows. And one of them is a guy that collected cereal boxes. And I put on a robe at the end and we <laughs> eat cereal together. So... That was fun. Oh. Hey, news boy. How's it going? You know what? Um, Elf on the Shelf was just unseated. Seated. <laughs> no, it's two. And this is one. Mm. You're going to have to fight me for this box. Ah, that's a, that's a winner then. Mm-hmm. I like it. Now, are there any others that you don't have here that you've collected over the years? No, this is the most I've ever seen. Oh, wow. Where did you get all of them? Target. Okay. This is nice. Thank you, Kevin. 
this is a super chat. He just sent us seven dollars Canadian. He did what now? That's a super chat. Yeah. In YouTube language. So they have a way of sending us cash as a way of saying, Hi, Hello. thank you. I'm here. And thank so you very he much. Contributed to our retirement. Yeah. No, taste testing. Didn't right. <laughs> Crash line says. Thank you very much, by the way. Yeah, That's thank really you, Kevin. Sweet. That's really cool of you. I appreciate that. Uh, Crash line, my wife likes the sugar cookie toast crunch the best too, but. Rose Gray did not care for it. Too sugary, too cinnamony for me. Oh, see, I love cinnamon. Here's Ox Me Pete. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Uh, Lars, how well, you I doing? I remember him from watching some of your other shows. He uh, did the Batmobile Lego with us. Yeah. Okay. And who's the actor? The picture is... Uh, Jeff uh, oh, yeah. Goldblum. Right. Okay, so... I believe the winner is this. Drum roll, please. Sugar cookie toast crunch. And are we having a second bowl? I am. Oh, sure. I'm having what a full are, second bowl. Or are we possibly going to finish the show with our PB&J? Uh, I really want a second bowl of this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, here's Hooniverse. How's it going, buddy? And Jazz Cabbage. What up, Jazz? How many viewers do we have? Uh, up there, pretty good. For yeah, the middle you said of the maybe day, maybe twenty people. I know. I. Oh, it's because yeah, you. Right. It's because of you. <laughs> um, Lars asks, "How many cigarette lighters do you have?" Uh, probably seven. They're in different shapes. Um, one of the interesting stories is that. Uh, some of the cigarette lighters were made in Japan right after World War II. Um, and if you uh, got one of them and you could open it up a little bit, a lot of the items that were made from aluminum fashioned into things from Japan uh, were used and discarded beer cans from the soldiers from America who occupied Japan and you know they would just toss them on the ground or, or throw them in the garbage whatever but the Japanese citizens as a way of trying to make a little money would uh, turn them inside out and make interesting things out of them and one of the things is lighters that they made out of them wow. uh, and one of the ones I have is made out of uh, aluminum from Japan from World War II because you can I'm tell see that Okay, well, no, I I mean, not right. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do the final slurp. Okay, go ahead. I'm going to have a full bowl of this a little bit at a time because it got so soggy. All right, so why don't you do that? And I'm going to taste the PB&J cereal. Okay. We've had it forever and never opened this it. This is the winner Sugar Cookie Toast Crunch. And the number two is Elf on the Shelf. Right such a proud moment <laughs> i'm pleased that a cereal i can get in canada won the day yay this was the carl says this was a stream i never knew i needed gotta <laughs> find me some sugar <laughs> cookie crunch right on brother gabriel hello happy holidays and buen provecho as we say in spanish e -e -e. buen provecho buen 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 provecho don't hurt yourself. Let off. I'm trying, man. Ooh. Oh, what are you thinking of it? <laughs> the jelly. So this is what they look like. There is a brown and a reddish. So obviously the reddish is the jelly and the brown is the P PB. So it should be P yeah, PB and J flavored. Oh boy. This is rough. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah, we'll, no more we'll milk. save it for the box. Oh. Little musical interlude. Check it out. Gabriel said I did very well. Speaking <laughs> Spanish. Oh, good. I was like, uh oh, what did you do? <laughs> 
I spoke his native tongue very well. Oh, this is pretty icky. <laughs> well, I'm not even going to finish that oh, one. Oh, really? Is that bad? Mm -hmm. Don't <laughs> buy this. Or don't let your children talk you into buying it. I am. Yeah, I'm not ending on that one. Give me one. Give me some more of this, please. Cinnamon toast, Frank. I have to end on a much better taste. Yikes. Yeah, she got me a peanuts um, clock for to play for Christmas, pre-Christmas. So thank you to the chat for chiming in. Thank you for the super chat from Kevin again. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Cereal's not cheap. <laughs> no yeah actually you're right so thank you to everyone for tuning in this was very nice of you to tune in lots of always pleasant comments like i get from my viewers i really appreciate everybody tuning in and watching thank you to patty for joining i've been looking forward to this it was a great break from decorating and thank you to the viewers watching afterwards. You can always subscribe, please. Hit the like button and feel free to leave comments. Uh, peace and love, peace and love. Thank you to everyone out there who joined. Um, really appreciate it. This has been a lot of fun. Thank you, Crash Line. <laughs> you guys are cute as heck. Look how nice Crash Line is. Nice to see just as better half. Thanks for making my evening more pleasant. Merry Christmas, Patty. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> it oh, was fun. It was fun spending some Saturday afternoon with you guys. Stanley, where have you been? You would have enjoyed this. This is uh, my buddy from Wales that Aww. loves the Grim TV show. Well, you can watch it after. Yeah, you can watch it afterwards, Stanley. You guys have a great weekend too. Peace and love. Peace and love. Thank you so much, everybody. Happy Christmas.